Today we're back on my restaurant because exactly eight days from now, one of the biggest updates that we've gotten in probably the last two years is going to be added to my restaurant. Over, I want to say the last, uh, I want to say two weeks, maybe even three weeks, David has been pretty much tweeting out kind of little snippets, teasers to the UI, brand new settings, as well as one piece of furniture that is really interesting because it seems like there's a lot to this. Now, like we do every single time that I'm recording in my restaurant, video i'm gonna go ahead and redeem all of my wells here so we can get the boost flowing but yes yeah, so as you guys saw from the title of this video it's pretty straightforward it looks like we're going to be getting some type of an alien invasion inside of my restaurant for the first update that we've had in a very long time basically the comeback update if you just started to play my restaurant and this is maybe the first time that you're watching one of my videos back in 2020 we used to cover my restaurant here religiously damn near every single day so so we're going to be getting back into that starting April 1st because obviously the update is going to be dropping the 31st of March and I will be uploading the very first video then but we're going to get back on the routine of uploading consistently on April. So let's go ahead and talk about some of these changes that are going to be coming. According to what I've been seeing over on Twitter it looks like the settings as well as kind of the UI in general is going to be getting a nice friendly overhaul. I don't think it's going to look any different but for those of you that haven't played my restaurant in a very long time you'll probably notice that there is currently a new feature in the game. This has been in the game for give or take about two or three weeks. He kind of snuck this in there without any type of an official announcement. Next to the staff menu, you'll notice that there is now customers. This keeps track of every single one of the customers that have came inside of your store, or should I say inside of your restaurant, but I don't believe that it keeps track of everything from the moment that you started the game. I think this only keeps track from the moment that this was added into the game. Because if I scroll down to the bottom here you'll notice that the question mark guy it says i've only served one of these which doesn't really seem right because if we go to settings i've served 25 of them so i'm pretty confident that this was only keeping track from the moment that this was implemented into the game which if that is the case 29,000 vips is kind of insane considering i really only afk farmed for one night and the other times that i've been on here has just been for give or take an hour or two now another new feature that was added in that david actually teased over on Twitter is apparently every single time that you go ahead and move stuff, it's actually going to show you the corresponding positions that the chairs can actually go. So for instance, if I place down this table, it will show you green squares on the floor with basically an arrow telling you where it can and cannot go. The image that I'm showing you in the background right now kind of shows you what different types of things are going to be coming in the settings. For starters, if you notice right there, the very first one says restaurant open slash close. This is kind of major because right now the only way that we have to open and close the restaurant is this little close button on the bottom right hand side you click on that and it says are you sure you'd like to close your restaurant and while it doesn't really seem that crazy that they're moving it over to its own kind of setting I do feel like it's a really good idea because just the way that this menu is set up down here it's really really confusing so if I have my decor open for a brand new player you would assume that by clicking close you can bring down this window back to how it used to be but technically speaking that closes your restaurant and I feel like there might be a lot of people mistakenly closing their restaurant instead of closing the menu because instead of doing that you just have to click on the same exact decor sign again so I feel like that's definitely just a, a quality of life thing but then the other two things that you'll see there are green tiles while placing chairs as well as auto rotate chairs towards table again these you have the option to turn on and off which is great for those of us that like to do a lot of layouts and stuff like that for speed building that's going to be a huge game changer instead of kind of like you know rotating the chair and oops i missed it so let me rotate all the way around again it just makes life a lot easier now there was one other kind of ui change that was sort of teased out really really late at night but unfortunately by the time that i woke up this tweet was deleted i've tried looking everywhere for the screenshot that was posted and unfortunately I haven't been able to find it because David does have a habit of doing that you know he tends to tweet things out 
and then you try to go back and see it and they've been deleted so yeah he he tends to do that quite a bit who knows maybe one of you actually went ahead and saw it for yourself if you did let me know in the comments or reach out to me over on discord send it over to me i'd love to check it out but let's go ahead and now show another image in the background which is kind of a screenshot from a video that david posted on twitter and this is kind of like i guess the elephant in the room because this is the one that shows the brand new item so if you notice on the left hand side there is the pedestal which is very similar to the play button that we already have in the game the cookie the beach ball all of those different ones except that this one has a galaxy on top of it now the first time that i saw this i didn't really think too much of it i was like well it's gonna be the same thing as all of these other ones that are already in the game where they're gonna have a bonus a customer will come in nothing really too crazy but still something new and something to be excited about but that all completely changed when david a couple of days later posted this image that I'm showing you in the background right now. It's the same exact kind of like galaxy looking thing, which obviously is somewhat of a planet with a bunch of other little planets around it. And it kind of looks like he's looking through uh, some type of a telescope maybe and this is really really interesting because well as many of you know for the last two years we've been in this same exact map and at this point I'm pretty sure a lot of us thought that it was never going to change we were never going to leave and the fact that kind of like this space scenario is being teased is pretty crazy and to add even on to that someone actually replied to his tweet from a really long time ago, which was the Halloween event. You guys are probably really familiar with this. It's been used for like the last two years over and over again. But he replied to somebody's tweet that said that this Halloween event was super sick where he kind of went ahead and said, wait till you see the next one. I don't know about you guys, but that sounds pretty hyped to me, man. If we get some type of alien event, or maybe he was referring to the Halloween event for this year. I don't know, man. All I know is that some crazy stuff might be happening on my restaurant. I am all for it, dude. Things just haven't been the same for me ever since my restaurant ended, you know? This game just, you know, holds a really important spot in my heart. Built a lot of good friendships in this. A lot of my community over on my Discord is still from the my restaurant days. But either way, wait, there's actually more that I want to show you guys because now we're going to be transitioning over to the stuff that was shown by RBXG Leaks. I don't specifically want to show you the item because it's sort of just the texture there is no color to it and if i'm gonna be honest with you big games is you know pretty big now and i'm pretty sure they can afford way better lawyers and you know stuff i'm just not trying to get my video taken down by them you can never be too sure you know what i'm saying but apparently there is going to be an alien chair coming it's actually pretty cool looking again it doesn't have any colors but i will provide all of the links in the description if you guys want to go and check that out aside from the alien chair there's also a Apparently a rocket chair, a UFO table, as well as the galaxy kind of pedestal that I told you about. So it does look like there's a lot of items planned for this update. RGL leaks as well as RBXG leaks don't really actively post a lot of my restaurant leaks because, well, I feel like the more attention is over on PetSim, so they don't really provide too many updates on that. But anyways, man, let me know in the comments what you guys think. Do you think that we're going to be getting an alien invasion? Do you think that we will be going to space and potentially making a new restaurant? I mean, that is kind of far-fetched and i don't really think that's what's gonna happen but i mean it'd be pretty cool if it did let me know in the comments all of your theories i look forward to it if you guys enjoyed the video make sure to drop a like on it remember eight more days and this update is going to be available subscribe to the channel so you do not miss any of my my restaurant videos that's gonna do it for this one like always i will see you guys in the next one take care